Big news, everybody. I'm trying to make a weird face so I can get a good thumbnail for the, for the video. <laughs> How's that? Okay, anyway, <laughs> enough with the silliness. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, going, going, gone. He's been ousted as Speaker of the House. Uh, I believe the vote was 216 to 210. Um, basically, there were a handful of Republicans, I don't know, five, between five and eight. I'm blanking on the exact number. But uh, what happened was the Democrats refused to come in and save the day uh, to protect McCarthy. Now, why did they refuse to do it? Well, they said, hey, man, you want us to vote for you? Uh, you got to give us some concessions. You got to, you know, promise us anything, an extension of the child tax credit. Uh, they may have been looking for some Ukraine-related stuff, as they normally do. But basically, McCarthy told them to go kick rocks. I'm not going to give you any concessions. And as a result of that, <laughs> the Democrats were like, okay, we're going to vote to oust you. So it was like Matt Gates, his little gaggle of idiots, and all the Democrats voted to remove him. And even though he got like over 95% of the Republican caucus, he ended up losing. So now he's officially gone. He's come out and said, look, I'm not going to do this again. Uh, like, I'm not going to run again. And now the caucus is in complete disarray. They have to try to, you know, find somebody to replace him. Scalise has been floated. There's a handful of other. Jim Jordan has been floated. Uh, Trump is saying he's, quote, open to the idea, and Hannity was talking about that earlier today. There were at least two Republicans who came out and said on Twitter, like, no, we're, I want Trump. We're going to go with Trump. We're going to try to get Trump. So it's, uh, it's complete mayhem and chaos, if I'm being honest with you. I just wanted to give you guys this quick breakdown right now. Um, I Honestly, I didn't think he they had the votes to oust him, but... If all the Democrats stood strong as they did, and then you just had the five or six Republicans or however many it was, that's all they needed. But look, definitely, definitely tune in uh, to the show tomorrow because I'm going to have all the videos for you, all the tweets, all of the fighting back and forth. It got heated. There was yelling on the floor of Congress. Uh, Newt Gingrich went on Fox News and is calling Matt Gates a traitor and saying this is disgraceful and they should be... Uh, kicked out of, you know, the Republican caucus and all that stuff. So it's uh, the GOP civil war, which we've been talking about for a while, is now in overdrive. The The Cold War became a hot war. It's a nuclear hot war now. And uh, I absolutely love the chaos. I think Matt Gates is an idiot and a rebel with a stupid cause. But I also totally support him for ripping the Republican Party to shreds from within and so definitely tune into the show tomorrow. We're going to go through all of it, and I'll have all the videos for you, and it'll be a lot of fun. But down goes McCarthy. It's pretty big news.